Uh, hello, every <coughs> hello everybody. Welcome to another um, episode in Goggles Goes to Europe. And uh, hopefully this one isn't late coming out, but uh, oh, I had a busy morning. I was um, I got 15 of these skins done now, and I realize there's five more, so it's going to be 20 uh, skins. So I got 15 of them, but this one is the uh, G model RJL, and it's coming along pretty good, but those front stripes where they come down, I got to move them and uh, do something about that. But uh, it's coming along. It's uh, just a little work to do there on that front stripe, that's for sure. But um, yeah, it's just like I say, <laughs> it's it's crazy. Anyway, well, this is a first too. We've got a uh, load of cattle on here with that own ownable uh, cattle trailer, livestock Starting trailer. Starting route to destination. So we're in uh, Madrid, Spain, and we're going to Pamplona, which is kind of cool. I haven't uh, been there before. Should be a good one. So let's hop in and get going. Oh, parking brake's still on. There we go. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. It's a busy morning. It's just just past noon here. Uh, actually, after 12:30, my time. And I uh, instead of just jumping in and doing the Ten video left. this morning, I thought I'd make up for some lost time and get some work done on that skin pack. Ten left. And went pretty well. Like I say, I've got to go over anything, everything in these G models. Uh, I just uh, pretty much, oops, threw an R model skin on it, and I'm uh, in the position now where I've got to make it what it should be. So I got a 12 plus one. At the trans roundabout, take the first exit. 12 plus 1 transmission in here. So 13 speed. Take the exit now. Oh, that ain't right. I missed by uh, a little bit. A little bit. Look around the corner here. Make sure I don't run into anybody. Come on, it could happen to anyone. <laughs> The roundabout, take the first exit. Oh, I could take a chance that they're all turning. Take the exit now. Looks like they were. What the heck is going on here? Okay, off we go. Got to get out of town and get out into the countryside. Uh oh, I can see that light. If in Spain they all take off, or do we have that little orange warning that comes on, or yellow? Nope, it just goes green. Keep right, then turn right. Keep right? Oh no. Oh, geez, she almost had me turning into that barrier. Turn right. Man. Confusing. They say turn right before you get to where you got to turn. Oh well, it's all good. He 
said gears are awful short or close together. Keep left. As in uh, the uh, in gear feet, turn right. The gear spacing in those first five gears. It's really tight. Turn right. I definitely don't need them all. And this uh, load isn't that heavy. Thirty-one thousand pounds. So got lots of engine to handle that. Go straight. Keep left. Well, I guess I didn't have to signal there. All right, on the road. Yeah, this thing's really revving high. Wow. Gonna use a bit of fuel here. I'll have to get my uh, get this thing entered into the uh, real Eaton Fuller transmission cast add-on so I can uh, get these RPMs down. 1800 RPM. Wow. Keep left. Yeah, I was going to try and go five over, but well, we'll check it and see uh, what that brings the revs up to. Um, 1900, uh, yeah, 1900 RPM. That does to our fuel mileage. Well, let's enjoy some of the Spanish countryside here. Like I say, I haven't taken this route before, so. Interesting shape to that hill. I wonder what the roof cam looks like on this uh, truck. Let's have a look. Got those uh, fancy octagonal exhaust uh, openings. <laughs> See if we can get back and look at the trailer. Yeah. That's interesting. Octagonal exhaust pipes. That's expensive option. Oh, look at that old place over there. Let's get past all of this. Maybe we can jump out with the uh, chase cam and get a look at it. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. Oh, 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 that wasn't a good idea. I'm trying to look around and see that castle or old building. Did it do any damage? Yeah, I did. Oh boy, that was bad. Cargo 2%, darn it. Uh, that wasn't a good move. Shoot. Do something silly here and get our photo. Wow. That's 
that's a bummer. Yeah, I start messing around with those outside cameras. I get disoriented. Like, usually I'm not too bad if I get the chase camera and kind of, you know, line it up with the truck a bit. Don't go wobbling all over the place. I'm looking around. Like, right here, if I was just to do this, you know, this is okay. I can handle that. But as soon as I start looking around, the tendency is to snatch the steering wheel, start doing stuff with it. You should just. Maybe you get the trap going straight and just leave the steering wheel alone. And take your look around. Don't do anything with it. But must be some kind of Keep left. natural thing where you grab the wheel, I don't know. With my old uh, steering wheel, my G25, remember when I was running that real G27 software? Uh, force feedback. Man, that was awesome. Like you get the truck pointed straight, let go of the wheel, and it would absolutely run straight. And you could get out and look all around. If the road was straight, you could go for... If the road went straight for miles, you could let go of the wheel for miles. I guess uh, with this G29 and the default uh, force feedback, you, uh, you, you know, I don't know, I haven't really found the comfort zone with letting go of it on a straight line. Theoretically, you should be able to if you get it going straight. You should just keep going. You have to mess with it a bit to really get it lined up. It's always got a little bit of wander one way or the other. And you takes a fair bit of fooling around. Like, I guess what I'm saying is, with the uh, real G27, you can find center really quickly. Like here, if we want to find the center. No, that's not it. That's not it. No. No. See, it's, it's really tough to get that thing on center. A gal, who knows? I didn't get a good look. <laughs> a car. Got another one coming. I'm gonna have to find a way out of this lane. Another one. Wow. Let's see what develops here. Somebody may be slowing to turn or uh, ease off. Oh, they want. Oh, they just have me stay. Okay. Yeah, they sure have a lot of trucks. This RGL mods. I have three. Keep left. RGL truck mods. So there's the. Uh, there's there three. T series, I think has the T and T4 in it. Oh, I don't think the G is separate. It's the, uh, yeah, it's part of the uh, R4 pack, I think. Take the exit on the right. Uh, I don't know if she means the first one. 
Oh, yeah, I guess Take the so. exit on the right. She does. Keep left. Yeah, I gotta uh, get used to that gear spacing. I try to always uh, in the ATS. I'm always driving an 18 speed, either a 16, usually a 16 in here. I'll get used to it. Just, just a matter of time. be interesting to see how much fuel we use at this uh, crazy RPM level we're running. Man, I can't get that downshift. I'm, uh, well, I don't think it's that I can't, it's that I'm, uh oh jeez. Not adapting well at all to it. I had to try and sharpen up before the end of this trip. Got to wait longer, and uh, <clears throat> I'm downshifting too soon. I don't get like in thirteenth gear. I'm not getting slow enough to get it into twelfth. Uh, I got to be more patient. Just doable. I can do that. I just got to think about it. So just trying to drive on instinct. Right. Wait long enough again. Oh, we gotta go all the way over here to the right. thinking of something else put him one of my daughters just opened the door there a moment ago and I got all sidetracked and thinking about what, 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 what she wanted before she backed out that's my story and I'm sticking to it
5K to go. Game's running nicely though, nice and smooth. Yeah, I think with, uh, maybe I can finish this skin pack up tomorrow. Uh, I do have some other things I gotta do this afternoon. One of them is get this video rendered, edited, and up on uh, YouTube. <laughs> Man, I'm leaving it late. Let's see what happens. I guess when it comes out, 5 p.m. my time, it's first thing in the morning in Europe, so, or middle of the night. So. ugly here. If that guy gives us some room, what did he do? Oh, yeah, he held back. This California inspection station's in ATS. He would have just run into us. <laughs> Boy, they're bad. Well, I haven't been through one, actually, in the last little while, so maybe they got them sorted out. Right, then take the exit on the right. Oh, oh excuse me, Pamplona. Whoops, wobbling around. Take the exit on the right. Well, I actually had that gear. <laughs> I thought I was missing and I went too soon, Keep so left. I pulled it out. But we're good. At the roundabout, take the third exit. Take the exit now. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Oh, jeez. Keep right. Yeah, I need to... Uh, take the exit now. I need to practice this transmission. Turn left. I'm terrible at it. Oh, I just hit right there. So warehouse to warehouse. It's poor old cattle. That's Arrived no, at destination. No life for these guys. I need somebody like my friend Recon Lobster in ATS making all the ranches and putting uh, places in with the uh, uh, loading chutes. Uh, and uh, you so see doing proper cattle delivery and pick up from logical places to logical places. It's pretty funny in ATS you get a load of buffalo bison and uh, you drop them off at a warehouse. Man, like they are ornery. They are deadly animals. Like I don't know if you guys know about bison but yeah you don't mess with them. They're just out to kill and uh they trample you to death and in a heartbeat they, they have no no use for humans at all like they're they're wild but oh well, i'm gonna pull ahead a little more they're a wild animal and uh you think a bull is nasty well bulls walk in the park especially you know if it's your own and you know it it knows you you'll never get to know a buffalo or bison, they'll just squash you. It's kind of funny. You wheel up to a warehouse like this with a load of buffalo. 
imagine the havoc that would ensue once those guys get inside a building. It would be nuts. First of all, they will have never been in a building. And uh, they would just go wild. <laughs> just imagine. You should read up on them if you don't know much about them. They're pretty wild animals. Okay, let's uh, get the lights off. Brakes are all on. We're park kind of crooked, but hey, we're in a hurry. Yeah, satisfactory. That I guess probably gave one of them a sprain or a skinned knee or <laughs> hip. <laughs> Crazy. Looking around like a putz. Anyway, cool truck. I like this uh, skin. I got the old school on the front like I did with Fred Scania and uh, his, R his 2012. So that's kind of cool. We can do that with this one. And uh, that's just on the G model. I can do that, I think. I'll look at the others and see if there's any of the other ones can have that. But uh, yeah, we'll fix it up. A little more work to do. It's not done yet, but you know. I just want to have them all done in one pack so I'm not doling them out and everybody has to have uh, you know 15 20 mods to have the trucks so it's probably worth it in the end and uh, appreciate your patience on waiting for them anyway thanks very much guys appreciate you following along catch you on the next one and bye for now